Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel, Skyrim, and a detailed look at the Death Band armor and the dual wielding, wielding scimitars, Soul Render, and Blood Scythe. The Death Brand armor was said to be worn by the legendary pirate king Hackneer Death Brand. Now, after failing to find a worthy successor, his final wish before he died was for his crew to take a long boat to Solstein and bury his armor in four separate locations on the coast while he himself was buried in a barrow on the island with his two swords, Soul Render and Blood Scythe. The Death Brand armor alongside Soul Render and Blood Scythe are amongst the best unique armor and weapon sets in the game. Now I've included the link on how you get this awesome set at the end of the video and in the description. This video is purely on giving you the stats and the effects. Now, Death Brand armor is light armor, which benefits from the light armor skills and perks. However, improving the armor through smithing is ideally done with the ebony smithing perk, which is on the heavy armor side of the smith uh, smithing skill tree. This means unless you have the smithing skill tree filled up completely up to the ebony smithing as well as a high light armor skill, then you are not likely to benefit much from upgrading the Death Brand armor. And also remember, Daedric smithing is required to improve the Death Brand weapons, Soul Render and Blood Scythe, which again works against the players invested in the light armor tree, as they are far more likely to invest in the light armor side of smithing. However, if you complete the Dragonborn main questline, you can reset your perks simply by reading the Black Book Waking Dreams whilst you're in Solstheim and resetting your perks. Uh, see my Dragonborn playlist for videos on the main questline. Okay, so let's look at the base stats and effects. The Death Brand armor has an armor rating of 39, a weight of 7, increases your stamina by 15 for each Death Brand item you wear. Death Brand boots, armor rating of 11.5, weight of 2, increases carrying capacity by 10 for each Death Brand item you wear. Death Brand gauntlets, armor rating of 11.5, weight of 2, while dual wielding, wielding your one handed attacks do 10% more damage for each Death Brand item you wear, obviously up to a total of 40%. Death Brand Helm, armor rating of 16.5, weight of 2, and has the water breathing effect. That gives you a total armor rating of 78.5, a weight of 13, which is incredibly light, plus 100 armor when a full set is worn. Okay, so now let's look at Soul Render and Blood Scythe. Um, each has a base damage of 13 and a weight of 10, um, which is you know, reasonable. Uh, upgrades require an Ebony Ingot and the Daedric Smithing Perk, as mentioned before. Um, quite a lot of interesting things about these. Now, uh, Blood Scythe, when wielded with Soul Render, absorbs 15 health and has a chance to lower the target's armor. Soul Render, when wielded with Blood Scythe, absorbs 15 Magicka and has a chance to lower the target's magical defences, though I'm not sure exactly how big these chances are. So it's now, to play, it's now plain to see what a great armour and weapon combo this is. So when you're wielding both Soul Render and Blood Scythe whilst wearing the full Deathbound armour set, you get the dual wielding bonus up to 40%, as well as giving an armour boost of 100 to make up for a lack of shield. The enchantments would only work if Blood Scythe and Soul Render are dual wielded together. The charges of the weapons are not dependent on each other. If Soul Render is wielded alone, Blood Scythe still loses charge. Another point to note that if one wears a gear or a combination of gear that gives enchantment effect 45 destruction 100%, Blood Scythe does not lose its charge, but Soul Render does. Now, all in all, this is a very well-rounded and balanced armor and weapon combo. It could be argued that a water-breathing enchantment was the wrong one to use, and to be fair, it is fairly useless for the vast majority of players. But seeing that this is from a, the former armor of a pirate, then it's most certainly understandable. Anyway, let's smith these beauties. Okay, I haven't got my in-game uh, smithing gear all done, but my smithing is pretty good, so um, let's nom a potion. Okay, nom 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 nom. And let's see what we can do with these bad boys. Oh, it's looking good. Nom nom. Lovely jobbly. Three, four, seven. That's not bad. One, five, five. One, five, five. And one, six, seven. That's pretty damn good. Okay. 
Let's uh, do the swords. Samo Samo. Fortify Smithing. I've got the Notch Pickaxe um, enabled as well. Go inside. 158. 158. That's damn good. That is damn good. Okay, so let's take a, a look at the uh, the finished articles. Okay, bear in mind I do have light armor perks uh, as well. That'll affect it. So we got the death brand armor of uh, 434 boots, 194, 194 gauntlets, and 209 on the helmet. <laughs> That's not bad at all. That's actually pretty ridiculous. That's ridiculous. That's insane. So what it does mean, I can actually uh, probably readjust some of the perks um, uh, uh, with these, which would be quite handy. I'll put them to uh, better use elsewhere. Okay, so let's t take this lot on a test run. And as anybody who's watched my videos before knows, I always pick on two poor little bastards just behind uh, White Run in revenge for them torturing me when I was a uh, uh, level one. But today what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick the, uh, the lock on the chest and that spawns their mates as well. Let's see how far we get with this armour. I've got the feeling it's going to work quite well. Now, as again, anybody who's ever seen my videos knows I'm utter muckhack at melee weapons. So, uh, I need all the help I can get. Okay, I don't want Shadowmere to get involved, so I'll park him over here. That's what you do with a horse, isn't it? Park him. Anyway, I'll leave him here, and let's go. <laughs> so I don't like the helmet very much, but I, I love the rest of it. It's, it's good looking armour. Okay, here they come. Let's give him a bitch slap in. He's one down, one down, one down. There you go, he's blocking and he's done. <laughs> that didn't take too long. Okay, I'm gonna pick the lock on the chest. Oh, and just an FYI for you guys who've never been here before. Um, if you don't pick this uh, uh, chest, uh, you only have to deal with the two. So whenever you pick it, the big mates come along. And these guys are a bit tougher than uh, the two you just dealt with. My usual fantastic lock picking skills here. Here you go. What have we got in there? Anything good? 51. Uh, I think I've got that. Got the cock and hen definitely, but I'll take it. Why not? Okay. Right. And make sure we come here, they come. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I'm not bothered defending myself. I'm just going full out attack. He's done. Pretty much. And he's down. And where's that little mage? There he is. I don't think so, my lady. Ooh. And there you go. This armor and weapon set even makes me look good. You can't say fairer than that, can you? Is a death brand worth going for? Without a doubt, you know. And if you don't want to put your perks into smithing, um, this armor set's fantastic, you know. Uh, you can't do much better, really. So anyway, got any information? Your choice. Um, I've included the links to the uh, video how to get this lot uh, at the end of this video and in the description below. So I hope you enjoyed this video found it useful and see you later guys I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please leave a like leave a comment and please do subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this then push the bell next to subscribe button after you subscribe obviously later